ever. Guess who was number one in Team State this time last year? Ain't nobody freaking knows. You know what I mean? All this is is the six tests you take this year. You get a good chance to see where you're at. If you win by 100, we're going to work like hell on Tuesday. If you get beat by five, we're going to work like hell on Tuesday. All this is is game number six. The test is always, it don't matter who's over. The freaking Green Bay Packers over, it don't matter. A senior citizen. You got a pretty face. A senior citizen. Look at that. He's a senior citizen. Let me tell you something. Most of you won't realize until you get to be an old man. Until you're in about four or five years, you'll be the guy for cussing me for bad play calling. But then you'll look and you'll notice something that we told you right here. Most of you won't pay any attention. But sometimes you can be stuck right in the middle of the best thing that ever happened to you, and you don't even know it. You see the emotion when those guys come around that corner? You see, this thing's a little bit different any place else. And some of you don't know it, some of you don't care right now, but at some point it'll matter to you. And you at some point you'll always you'll realize this might be the only family you got. Mr. Giles said something the other day about sport reflects your society. Do you understand what he meant by that? What he meant was I had a long talk with him today. I'll tell you my story next week. But everybody here has some kind of bad story. Most of us do. Broken family, something. And this is a family. Here in a minute, you'll see me cry like hell. This might be my dad's last game he ever sees. I knew my dad for 33 years. And his name was Mike Carton. No, I ever heard him call. And then I brought him down here, and all these guys in there are like my brothers. They're tighter than my brothers. I got, I got brothers and sisters, aunts and uncles. All over this place. But my family's in there. Them guys named my said Pops. I gotta pick him up a little bit ago. And all them, you know what all them women call him? Pops. And it blows my brains away. I'm like, who in the hell's Pops? And then I remember, these guys named him Pops. <coughs> uh, but that's what makes football the best team sport, like Mr. Giles said the other day. But at some point you realize. This is like a family. It ain't always pretty. It ain't always good. Sometimes the shit hits a fan or sometimes it sucks. There's a lot of times, about 90% of you, I can kick off at any time because you screw up. I can fire myself for screwing up. Ain't none of us perfect. But the thing that always comes through here is love. At some point you go, you know what? This is, might be all this is might be all I got. Yeah. yeah. And when you realize that, like I said, we've been 14 and 0 before whatever. It wasn't pretty every damn time. Are there hurt feelings or the bullshit that goes along the way? Hell yeah. But every time we've been here in all 10 years, at some point everybody goes, you know what? Maybe they're right. Maybe love and sticking together, that's always on the message I got to stick together. You stick together tonight. You can beat them by 100. We're going to try to do it. I'm just going to give you a heads up. So don't get your feelings hurt if you don't get in, because we're going to try to blow it up. But at some point, you go, you know what? I get to be part of something bigger than myself. I get to be part of something. This is the most exciting thing to be part of in this town. Capital football. The most successful program in this town. But like I said, at some point, you got to go out there and you got to play for each other. You can't worry if you got the ball. You can't worry if you miss a block. You can't worry about any of that stuff. Just loving each other, down and pull through. You're going to see it here in a little bit. You'll see a hell of a lot of emotion tonight. You see them guys come through crying? About four years ago, wasn't it you over there laughing, giggling and all that? You didn't realize it. I told you it'd be here fast, didn't you? And here it is. Next time it'll be you. Everybody's going to go through that. If you stick around and you fight through the tough times, you're going to have something you'll love the rest of your life. If you're a chicken shit, then you'll pack up and go look for something else. But that's what capital football teaches. Life is freaking hard. You know what I mean? And you don't go around pointing fingers and making excuses. You work your ass off. You don't get out of life what you want. You get out of life what you work for. And I hope that's the thing you take. Everybody here loves you. you got some place to come back to no matter what. Whatever it is you need. i got the biggest coaching staff in the state of West Virginia. So make a whip your ass, you call. I'll load them guys up. And they got you back the whole time. That iPhone. We all got to plug into something to think that's what's going to fill that soul. Everybody here has got it. You know what I mean? You got an emptiness inside of you. You know what I mean? You win a state championship, that's good. The part that lasts is the love you share here with everybody else. 
I got three rings. Everything that you think is good and important right now, I've had in that box. Letters from girls, everything. State championship rings, I got three of them. I got car keys. This, this thing was given to me in 1982. How were you guys then? Everything that's ever been important to John Carter has been underneath my bed in that. Does that make sense? I got a little tiny scholarship. I, 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 I did all that. I've had girls. I've had cars. I've tried drinking. I've done it all. You just keep your uh, liquor bottle lids in there. I've done all that. The only thing that will satisfy you the rest of your life is knowing God. I believe in a guy named Jesus. Do you want to know more about that? Right now, some of you are like, whatever, man. I'm just ready to eat. That's fine. At some point in your life, God will call you. by He'll wait you out. He'll wean you or He'll wound you. Wounding means he hurt you. Now you understand that at some point. But now understand this. It says in the Bible, like this, Jeremiah 29 11 says, God has a plan for you, not to harm you, but to prosper you. You will want that at some point in your life. I hope to God that you don't go out here thinking that people don't love you. You know what I mean? I hope you don't put your self worth in how many games you win. Any of that. I hope you know that right here you've got people that love you no matter freaking what. And I hope you know when you things get tough in your life that you got a place to come back to and people will help you. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. You remember that. Stick it wherever you got to stick it. You might need it today, next month. You might need it when you're 99 and you're getting ready to die and you say, Car, remember what you was talking about? Yeah. Everybody has those thoughts. I don't believe two molecules hit together. It just doesn't make sense to me. So I think God has a plan for you. That was five minutes. Appreciate you. Hey, I love you. I'd do anything in the world for you. Except let you be mediocre. I'm going to cuss and scream in. That's called Old Testament eye for an eye for you guys like that. <laughs> so if you're a dog, go be a dog. But a dog is a dog everything they freaking do. If you're young, look around. Take a damn spot. Be a dog. Some of you need to get gone or get with it. Amen. And no matter what, we're going to call the plays we did all week. If it works, guess what? It's because you do it. Not because you, if we blow them out by 50, I ain't getting in there on the press conference and saying, I'm just a really smart guy. You know what I mean? Now, if we lose, I always go in there and say, Yeah, hell, I ain't worth shit. I didn't do a very good job. I expect you to beat them by 50. I got nothing to do if KJ Figures goes up and catches three or four touchdowns tonight. I got nothing to do with Eli makes four or five sacks. I got nothing to do with that. So if you're a dog, this is a great place for you. But now it's time that somebody needs to figure out, Am I a dog? Or do I just want to chirp that bullshit? Imagine this. you got to take it like that. Was They're going to make a damn movie out of that play. You can't take it off. That's what winners do. It's called process thinking. You fall in love with the process. All you can do is control the next play. The last one don't matter. The next one don't matter. You have to win that one. That's what winners do. They focus on the play they're in. Some of you need to develop an attitude. On Tuesday, you win championships. On Wednesday, you got to win championships. It's overrated on Friday. All you're going to do today is show what you did all week long. But you have to fall in love with the process of that play. When you're in that classroom, you have to win. That's the stuff you need to clean up. And all the stuff, I hear it all the time. You're undisciplined, you're doing all that. You'll fix that. We're going to fix it faster than we always have. We always get it together come November. But now we need to do it in September to be a great one. Yeah. To be the best, you have to fall in love with it tonight. They may make a play. Let it go. You make a play. All right? Be excited. But now when the whistle blows, it's time for another one. But you have to fall in love with that grind. Young people think you got choices. There is no choice. There's only one road to be a damn winner. There ain't no shortcuts. There ain't no bullshit. There's one way you freaking do it. And I think more and more of you are getting involved. Now, when the most of you fall in love with that, you fall in love with that grind, it's one thing to tweet it and buy a t-shirt and all the horse shit. It's another